Hi and salam sejahtera. I'm Jana Ibrahim. This video is about basic BJT linear amplifier. After watching this video, we should be able to describe gain and types of gain associated with the common emitter with RE and bypass capacitor configurations. We also should be able to describe the input and output voltage and current relationships of these two configurations, derive the AC equivalent circuit and calculate the output power given AV, the voltage gain, and AI, the current gain. The AC characteristics of a common emitter amplifier are demonstrated using its equivalent circuit. The equivalent circuit is also used in many AC calculations. It is derived using these two steps. First, short circuit all capacitors. And second, replace all DC sources with ground symbol. It is very important to remember that the AC equivalent circuit represents the AC characteristic of the amplifier and it is not used in the DC analysis of the circuit. Previously in our discussion on the basic common emitter biasing, the Q point was stabilized against beta variations with the inclusions of RE in the circuit. This is because RE is less dependent on beta. In this video, we will discuss the effect of RE or resistor at emitter on the common emitter amplifier, particularly on the voltage gain AV. We start our analysis by short circuit decoupling capacitor and convert the common emitter circuit to its hybrid pi equivalent circuit. As a good practice, we start by converting the BJT terminals to their equivalent hybrid power representation. Sketch the terminals first and then sketch the remaining circuit elements around the three terminals. For this example, we are assuming the early voltage is infinite. Hence, the output resistance RO can be neglected or left as open circuit. We are also going to use the current gain parameter beta as the representation of the dependent current control source between collector and emitter. To find the voltage gain AV, we can follow the following steps. Start with the output side. First, get the equivalent resistance at the output side, R out, is equal to RC and this is equal to 6 kilo ohm. Secondly, get the V out equation where V out is equal to minus beta IB times R out and this is equal to minus 720 times IB. Then we look at the input side. To find VB, which is the voltage between base and ground, first we need to identify the RIB or the input resistance looking into the base. So we find this with respect to IB. Hence, VB is equal to IB times R pi plus IERE or IB times R pi plus 1 plus beta times IBRE. Therefore, RIB is equal to VB over IB and this is equal to R pi plus 1 plus beta times RE and RIB is equal to 80.06 kilo ohm. Next, we calculate R in or RTH in parallel with RIB and this is equal to 33.53 kilo ohm. Then we write VB in terms of VS using voltage divider. VB is equal to R in over R in plus RS multiply with VS and this is equal to 0 0.9853 times VS. Finally, we can go back to the equation of V out. V out is equal to minus 720 times IB 
and we substitute this IB with VB over RIB and then find the relation of VB with VS and rearranging we get AV equal to V out over VS and this is equal to minus 8.86 the voltage gain for this common emitter configuration is less dependent on the current gain or beta. In other words, there is a smaller change in voltage gain when the transistor current gain beta change. In our previous discussion, we can notice that the common emitter grounded voltage gain AV is equal to minus 73.58. But in this configuration with RE, the AV is minus 8.86. Clearly, in this configuration of common emitter with RE, the circuit designer has more control over voltage gain but with the expense of smaller gain. To get a better control of voltage gain without reducing the gain itself, a bypass capacitor is introduced in the RE common emitter configuration. The bypass capacitor eliminates the portion of RE that affecting the AC signal and reducing the gain in common emitter amplifier. However, the RE will still work in DC and stabilize the beta form variations. The figure shows how the bypass capacitor works in AC analysis. The capacitor is short circuit, hence eliminates the RE in AC analysis. The AC equivalent circuit looks just like the common emitter emitter grounded configuration. Therefore, the steps to derive the voltage gain AV is similar to the common emitter emitter grounded configuration. In this example, given the ICQ is 0.84 mA with VA is equal to 200 volt and beta is equal to 125. From this information, we can determine the AC equivalent parameters such as RPi and RO. Let's start from the output side. We need to find the R out or RO parallel with RC and this is equal to 2.278 kilo ohm. This is followed by the V out equation, or V out is equal to minus R out times beta IB, and this is equal to minus 284.75 times IB. Next, we look at the input side to find the equation related to Vs. By using the KVL, we derive the RIB or the resistance looking from the base terminal and this is equal to IB times RPi minus VB equal to zero and therefore RIB is equal to RPi and this is equal to 3.87 kilo ohm. Next, we find the R in which is equal to RTH in parallel with RPi and this is equal to 2.79 kilo ohm. And from there, we need to find the equation that relates VB and VS using voltage divider. However, since RS is equal to 0 ohm, we can see that VB is equal to VS. And finally, let's insert the IB equal to VB over RIB into the V out equation and we can get V out equal to minus 284.75 times VB over RIB. And after rearranging, we get AV or the voltage gain equal to V out over VS and this is equal to minus 73.58. By comparing the voltage gain of common emitter with RE, that is minus 8.86, and the gain of common emitter with RE and bypass capacitor, that is minus 73.58, we can conclude that 
although RE will give the circuit immunity from beta variations, it will reduce the amplifier gain. Hence, the bypass capacitor is a good solution to overcome gain degradation due to RE. Let's wrap up our discussion on the common amplifier circuit and analysis. Thank you for watching.